Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I uh, just want to show you a new toy that I have made for out here. Uh, we now have radio remote control capabilities for uh, the steeple cab locomotive. And um, this is the transmitter box right here. Um, just uses a uh, Arduino uh, microcontroller and a couple little radio modules to send the data. Um, got a throttle controller uh, over here and the directional control is over here. Uh, brake control and then just some indicators showing me uh, what, what notch I'm in and the direction uh, and the state of the battery charge. Uh, and then the receiver is uh, over here. And there it is it just hangs on uh, to the front of the cab and it connects with a uh, amphenol plug uh, goes into the, the throttle here ties into the wiring uh, I made it that way because um, eventually what I'd like to do is um, allow it to interface to the line car the 877 uh, that way I can just you know pull that off either use it on the steeple cab or on the line car uh, now you might ask why in the world do you want a radio control out here well mainly for uh, catenary maintenance um, as it is whenever whenever I snag uh, a, a hanger or there's a problem with the wire uh, you know I'll, I'll either hear it catch on the shoe or it'll pull the shoe out of the pole uh, causing a dewire so that requires me to stop get out see what's going on and then uh, get up to the wire and you know inspect find out what happened and then make a repair um, usually I use this uh, gondola car tool car as a kind of makeshift platform the end of this car uh, right here this this lifts up and out so it just makes it kind of like a, a flatbed and I can get up in there and and work on the overhead pretty easily um, so with the remote what I can do is I can stand back here and I can operate the uh, locomotive and watch <clears throat> the shoe in real time so I'll be able to see where it's, what it's snagging on and make adjustments right away before uh, they start to cause problems bad enough to where we dewire. So that's kind of the idea behind the remote um, and making it so it'll interface with the line car because it already has a, a flat bed on it. I can tie that end of the car to this to the end of this one and uh, then I can have an extra say five feet of flatbed I can walk back and forth between the line car uh, and this uh, gondola and it'll just give me more uh, working area I guess you could say I can fix more hangers at once you know, all about efficiency here so um, now I'll show you the uh, the inside of the uh, remote system um, for any of you nerds who like that kind of stuff uh, and then uh, I'll do some switching with it, which was not something I had intended uh, originally to use it for, but uh, yesterday I tried out some switching with it for the first time, and it's just so much easier. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with that.
So looking at the inside of the transmitter box here, uh, I've got some uh, 18650 uh, lithium cells in here to give me a uh, basically a 12 volt pack. Uh, there's a charging port that sticks out the front, uh, a couple of current limiting resistors uh, for battery charging. Uh, this is our little on off switch. And then uh, in here is kind of the heart of it is the Arduino Nano. Uh, microcontroller uh, this is the reversing switch throttle switch and then uh, a couple extra components on the board one of them is a 5 volt regulator and the other one is a 3.3 uh, volt power supply for the radio and then the little IC is a uh, precision 5 volt reference um, I do monitor the battery voltage and uh, then I can know when to light up the uh, the low battery light here so it's got to have a good stable 5 volt uh, reference for that um, and then the radio it's kind of hard to see but uh, back in here is a little uh, NRF uh, 24 radio module and radio module claims to have a, a transmission distance of 3000 meters I've only tried this thing uh, about a quarter of that distance and it still works fine and I've even got the, the power amp level set to low. So those radios seem to work pretty good um, so far. And then uh, moving over to the receiver, um, again got the uh, little radio module, you can see it better uh, here. And uh, just another little Arduino Nano. A microcontroller and then the relay output board that um, actually turns everything on and you know I personally would rather put MOSFETs in there but this little board was like 10 bucks or something and uh, I can't buy individual parts and and make my own driver board for that and it's optically isolated in the whole nine yards so yeah uh, really very simple uh, not a whole lot of code required to make something like this work um, so working with the Arduino is quite easy um, I might actually uh, use uh, another set of these I'm thinking about making a radio code line for for signals out here and getting those working again but anyway uh, enough of that was fun wasn't it I hope you enjoyed the video uh, checking out this uh, new little uh, tool and I uh, hope it brings us uh, great efficiency and uh, more progress out here at the uh, RRBT so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh, even though YouTube has demonetized all my videos because not enough people are watching that's okay because I still like showing you everything that's going on out here uh, have a good day and we'll see you next time.